When it comes to medical care, seniors often find themselves in a position of not quite needing home care, but needing some care. And the Regina Quipel Health Region has come up with a solution for some of these unique medical needs. And joining us now to talk a little bit more about the seniors house call program is Lisa Bretkowski. Lisa, tell me what the house, how the house calls program works. So Seniors House Calls is a short-term urgent care need that we're filling. So we are a program that comes in for seniors who have trouble getting out of their homes to access the care they need. So many seniors have challenges for different reasons. So they may have a decrease in mobility, they may have financial problems, they may have a lack of access to transportation, lack of family support. There's many factors that cause a restriction or a barrier to them accessing the essential care that they need. The Regina Capel Health Region believes that that should not be a barrier. So anybody should be able to access the care they need when they need it. It's all about the right person in the right time with the right care. I'm sure the, the needs vary depending on the patient, but give me an idea of some of the things that you would do if you went out for a house call and maybe how that difference from, differs from home care. Perfect. So home care is a great service and I'm glad you brought that up. We are not here to replace any services that are already in place. We're not here to replace the family physicians. We're not here to replace home care. We in fact work to collaborate with your already established care team. So your family physicians, home care, your specialist, whoever you're already involved with. And we work to enhance the care plan that they're providing and fill those gaps for them. So one of the big differences between us and home care is that home care is someone who can generally support you when you're stable, you're managing at home, you need a little extra assistance from day to day. We're more of the urgent care needs. So all of a sudden you've come into some kind of crisis. So I want to be really clear that we're urgent, not emergent. So if you're having a stroke, you're having a heart attack, you still call 911, same thing. But if it's urgent and you're having trouble accessing the care you need in the community, we're the number to call. So for example, if you have a senior who has um, a lung disease like COPD or frequent pneumonias or those kind of things, and they're managing okay, they have home care in place, they're doing just fine. One day all of a sudden they get worsened pneumonia-like symptoms and they can't catch their breath enough to go out and go see their family doctor. We would come in, we would assess them, treat them, diagnose them all in the home, and then maybe hook them up with more community resources to help them manage better in the future so that, that they don't get to that point. You're about a year into this program. Mm -hmm. Is it getting a lot of traction? Do people know it exists? And I guess, how can people get in touch with it if they need it? So yeah, we started in April of 2016, and that's when we took on our first clients. So this year alone, since 2017, we have seen over a thousand seniors. Of those thousand seniors, we have prevented 350 unnecessary emergency department visits. So we're not alone in that. Uh, the whole system is working together to prevent unnecessary emergency department visits and we're just able to fill those gaps around the great work that's already being done in the region. So the way that you can contact us is through a phone number. You call 306-766-6280 between the hours of 8 a.m. and 7 p.m. Seven days a week, 365 days a year, a paramedic will answer your phone call. They'll ask you a few questions, First, they want to make sure that you're not emergent, that you don't need to go to the hospital. Secondly, they want to get a good sense of what kind of care you're needing, so we make sure that we send out the right person for your care needs. Thanks for your time today, Lisa. You're welcome.